Hey there, this is my garden at home, and I've been planting these vegetables, and they are now big enough to be harvested. So I do the harvest, and then I'm going to start a new set of growth plants for my vegetables. And I plan to compare which one of the three different hydroponic systems that I'm using will give me the biggest harvest. All of them will be driven by this row light 3000K, a little bit yellow row light powered by LED, 18 watt LED each. The first system is called flood and drain. Nutrients is pumped by the pump at the lower tank up to the top tank and is flooded. When the pump is shut down by auto timer, it will be drained and dropped down to a low level. My second system is a aeroponic system. I find this great sprinkler that can spray in every direction. two tanks, one small one, one tall one. On the small one, you can drill a hole to fit the outlets, and then another hole to fit the inlets. The good thing about this is you can adjust the level of the high level mark using the white baker pipe. Just insert it and determine how high the water will be. Then you insert this rubber pipe from the water pump into the tank. The height of this rubber pipe determines the low level mark. When the switch is turned off, the pump stops working. The water will be drained through this rubber pipe back to the pump and then release the water back to the bottom tank. So the height of this pipe determines how much water will retain at the upper tank. You want to retain some water in case the pump failed, you will still have water to keep the lives of the plants. And you power it by a 5 volts to 8 volts water pump. You don't need a heavy duty pump, it's just a small pump to get the water up. Optionally, you can have this water level bunker. It's just a piece of foam attached to a rubber stick that will float and determine the height of the nutrients. When it drops below the low level, we need to refill the nutrients. I cut a piece of foam board to the right size in order to fit nicely. And then I drill holes for the net pots, put the seeds into the net pots, and then they will grow. Here are some of the reference from the online shopping site of the palms you can get. Try to find the timer that have a repeating cycle instead of just the clock mode. And set the repeating cycle to pump water for 10 minutes and then rest for 20 minutes and repeat. Now let's do a dry run without the plants. Now actually it's a wet run because you have a lot of water. So the water goes up and flooded the white pipe, the outlet pipe, 
the reflected water will be overflowed back to the sink at the bottom. So this is after the power of the pump has been switched off by the timer. The water slowly drips back to the bottom tank through the inlet pipe. Now the inlet pipe is close to be reached, so that marks the lower water level. The next system you can build is the aeroponics system. The roots are hanging in mid-air and the water or the nutrient is sprayed by the sprinkler. Find this type of sprinklers that can spray it in 360 degrees and you can buy it from the online shopping sites. You need to find the matching pumps with the same uh, size screws uh, where you can screw the sprinkler directly into the pump. Now let's do another dry run. Again, it's a wet run because I was all wet and this is tested. The spray is too strong. It sprays up and down and all 360 degrees. I set up my timer to spray water for 10 minutes.
I've just finished setting up my three systems. I will be running a test to compare under the same conditions, same grow light, same seeds, same nutrients. Under the same situation, which system will outperform the others? I plan to run it for six to eight weeks and I'll send you the results after that. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and send to your friends to subscribe too. And don't forget to click like if you like the video. Thank you.